Tim McDonald here in Durham, New Hampshire. I'm joined by a familiar face with CAA football, Ricky Santos, former New Hampshire standout. Coach Santos now is a coach at UNH, a wide receiver. Ricky, thanks for joining us. Tim, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Obviously, we're, we're here at practice in Durham. It's day before Villanova. You've done a lot of things for this program. Uh, you come back and decide to coach. Talk about that general process when you found out, I guess, maybe pros weren't going to work out, but you wanted to come back and, and be a college coach at your alma mater. Um, yeah, I was, I was in between. I got released um, by Montreal and then Toronto in consecutive weeks and was trying to figure out what my next step was. Um, and I, I, I came up, um, you know, a couple months later than that, that the winter, and I was actually watching your brother play basketball here and saw your father and we were chatting and let him know what uh, I was thinking next and telling him I was thinking about getting into coaching and it happened to be that the wide receiver coach was leaving and it worked out perfectly and it was great timing for me and uh, you know, I couldn't be happier. You have an interesting story. You come in in 2004 really off the bench as a third string. A lot of CA football fans know that story. How cool is it to look back on those days? And even now, UNH is still ranked in the top 25 thanks to that win at Delaware when you were a fresh. I think your first play was technically a delay of game timeout. It's funny how, t how times have changed. Yeah, you know, maybe I might have misplaced my helmet. We had to call a timeout, and Chip Kelly was screaming at me. And that's all in the past now. Um, no, it's great to look back on it. And, um, you know, myself and a lot of our teammates, we were a part of something special and built the program to what it is today. And I'm very fortunate that Coach McDonald gave me that opportunity to play collegiate football. Um, he really was a mentor in my life, and he meant a lot to me. And the fact that he trusted me and, and gave me a spot in coaching and started my career this way, it, it truly means a lot. And I'm going to do everything I can to help this team win. And just from your perspective now as a coach, talk about the evolution of the CA. Because when you were at New Hampshire, you know, there was Northeastern, there was Hofstra, now they're gone, now there's some new teams. Sure. How interesting has that been for you as a player who, you know, you, you had your fair share of first team all CA members, but as a coach too now? Sure. I mean, it's it's a very talented, uh, very talented league. We feel it's the top in FCS football. Um, you know, you get teams coming in like Albany and Stony Brook are very talented teams, and um, you know, obviously, still the mains of the world and, and ourselves and the northern schools. You know, we have to go down and compete with with these guys from down south, and they can just flat out play. Um, they get all those recruits down there, and you know, they're very big, fast, talented teams, and we have to deal with that on a weekly basis. And you know, I think we hold our own pretty good. Then, just last question, a as a receivers coach. Do you like to think that you can give your guys maybe a little bit of a different edge because you played quarterback in college? And, you know, do the kids ever say to you, what did you like? If I ran this route, what did you like? Things like that. How does that, how's that been working out? Sure, yeah. Um, you know, I try to, in the film room, show the guys the film and teach them through the eyes of a quarterback. You know, a certain zone coverage, where the quarterback might be looking versus that coverage, um, where the holes might be, looking at linebackers at the second level, which way they're buzzing and, and which um, zones of the field they're dropping to, and, and th thus where we will get open and we'll ultimately make that play better. So I've been trying to teach the kids, you know, through the quarterback's eyes, and I think it's been working, and I think they've been playing very well so far. All right, well, Ricky, thanks for joining us today, and we wish you the best of luck this weekend and the rest of your coaching career. Thanks, Tim. I really appreciate it.